Hey guys, today we're asking the question, could Tirtlemint have been fair? So here we have, from like mostly memory, what I vaguely remember Tirtlemint was like at the, its peak in Macedal. I think we might have had three Merlin, it was either three or two. And then we had definitely two Havness. Uh, then we have um, two Shirin, three Rhino, and I guess I could have maybe put in a reinforcement of the army instead. Don't remember the exact ratios of like Kelbeck and Agito, but we'll, we'll just put them at three. So Tirlman, obviously in this state, j just normally is unfair, right? But I mean, if you think about it reasonably, all of the Tirlman monsters already like Sharon, Merly, Havnis, they, they essentially have multiple effects. Notably, Sharon might as well have like three three effects for whatever reason. So if we went to, I don't know, let, let's say for example Albion, like what one of the strongest branded cards here, Albion the branded dragon. This only has two effects, right? The effect to fusion summon, and also the effect to set a uh, branded spell trap directly from your deck, or you can add it to hand, whatever. So what's noticeable about this is. This is an extra deck monster, and you also had to commit Fallen of Elbaz plus technically a light monster to make this to some extent, right? So you can technically summon this off of Branded Fusion, but basic concept, extra deck monster, require two monster, and in this case, since it's a fusion, it'll require like either a monster that can uh, fusion summon, or it'll require like a polymerization. So it's like two to three cards to technically make this. like conceptually but we'll just uh say two i think two is reasonable ish to make albion with right so then it also only has two effects and the monsters you used uh one of them probably has the effect of fusion summon and the other one uh is going to just search you one card right okay so th those monsters you'll probably also have to commit your normal summon for uh albion right but anyways, now, now we go back to like Tailman and Sharon, and this is just disregarding, of course, Branded Fusion. But anyway, back to Sharon. Sharon effect. You can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, send one monster from your hand to the graveyard. So that's generic, it can send anything. And of course it sends for effect. So sending for effect is better than send for cost anyways, because then you don't lose hand advantage in case you get negated hand traps or whatever. So we'll, we'll just gloss over that for the time being. So special summon Shirin. So special summon itself is already like, g in general, like an effect that a monster might have. And then it, it won't do much else aside from special summon itself, right? Usually at this point is when you would make like some sort of extra deck monster to continue on with your day, continue on with your plays, whatever. And then um, Shirin has the effect to m Mel 3. What? So if we go to here, for example, Minerva effect. Send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard, then draw cards equal to the number of lights one cards sent to the graveyard by this effect. So if we just think about it, this monster here, Minerva the Exalted Lightsworn, you have to make this with two level four monsters, so there's no question about it in comparison to like uh, Lubellion or Albion or whatever. So this just needs two cards, right? Two level four monsters, you make this, and then you mill three. So this card, you just open this, you special summon, it mills three. It special summons itself. Hmm, interesting. And then if this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, you infusion summon a fusion monster from your extra deck by placing fusion materials mentioned on it from your hand field and or graveyard, including this card from your uh, graveyard on the bottom of the deck in any order. So uh, another thing, hmm. Fusion summoning from the graveyard, but it shuffles back. There's very few cards that even do this. There's like one specific hero card that did this before, like Favorite Contact, I believe, was able to kind of do it, but you you need to somehow get your materials into the graveyard, then you need to search Favorite Contact, which is a bit easier now, admittedly, but conceptually, this is just like a what kind of moment, right? So... In general, most effects that actually fusion summon using stuff in the graveyard requires those cards to be banished, so they have no recursion. But with Sheeran, 
the, and all the other two lumen girls, I guess. It shuffles back instead. So, what what is up with that? If we shuffle back instead, that means we can use them as material later and their effects again later. But other decks, of course, will banish uh, their cards in the graveyard if we use them as material. So notably DD with Necroslime, um, Vice Typhon, and also uh, Contract with the Swamp King. All of those banish uh, cards in the graveyard if you're trying to uh, use them as fusion material from the graveyard. They, they will all be banished. So, hmm, interesting. Very interesting. We have essentially three effects, whereas like a lot of like uh, boss monsters might only have like one to two effects. Shirin has more or less three. It, it's labeled as two essentially, but if we look at Minerva, that's essentially Minerva's whole effect, right? So you might as well say Shirin straight up has three effects. Like, yeah. Just for example, though, Shadow Beast Graveyard effect is only draw one card essentially, right? So. We look at any card with like just graveyard effect, just special summon itself, and nothing else. Yeah, sure, has three effects for sure. So, to kind of balance this, we're going to have to strip like the effects off of these cards to an extent. And an easy way to do this is we could errata one line, and this would make uh, all of these cards a lot weaker. So. Notably, all of these Thunder Dragon cards have this line attack, so you can only use one Thunder Dragon Roar effect per turn, and only once that turn. But if we read, like, Tulemon Shirin, it says you can only use each effect of Tulemon Shirin uh, once per turn, meaning for every single effect here, we can use it, uh, all of them, on the same turn. Despite these cards having, like, uh, essentially multiple effects equivalent to, like, what some extra deck monsters might have. So, like, Colossus has essentially two effects. Uh, Thunder Dragon Titan actually only has two effects, right? It has a summoning condition here as well, but... Yeah. Essentially, their main deck monsters have as many effects as we do. Um, our extra deck monsters. So, yeah. If we add the Thunder Dragon restriction to Tealament, how... How fair can they, they be after this? Well, today we find out. So, th this hand is completely bricked, so we'll just move on. This one is actually fine. So, we'll, we'll see how this one goes. So, we will go ahead and uh, activate Perlerino. And then we happen to have Grief. I think I put Grief in by accident. You, you don't actually play Grief because the, the deck is actually that gross. So, yeah. We'll, we'll throw in a Rota. I mean, that last hand was pretty swell, but let's find just another decent hand. And here, good enough. So, we have Perlerino to add probably, I guess, either Merly or Sheeran. So, I guess we'll probably just do Rota add Rhino, and then Perlerino can add Merly, and then we can also do Shirin effect to send uh, Kelbeck, which is also mill 5. But, okay, so let's start. We're going to only be able to use the send effect. We can't use the special summon effect if we use the send effect, because we're applying Thunder Dragon restriction to all of the Telemann cards. So, okay. We're going to go ahead and use Rhino effect to essentially special summon uh, Hit Kellos, and the best way I think to do this is probably to send Happiness, because Happiness is not that useful, so we'll send Happiness. Make Kit Kellos, Kit Kellos effect will, I guess, probably will do the effect to add uh, Tidalman's Scream. So then, after Scream, we're going to uh, be able to use Kick Kellos effect now and Shirin effect as well. So might as well start with Shirin effect. So we'll Shirin effect to special summon and mill three, and we'll do this by sending uh, Kelbeck. So we'll do that, I guess. 
So will Mel. One, two, three. That's Sharon Mills. And we do play two happiness, so this is possible, so I'll just leave it be. And we also happen to mill a Sharon. Then we will do mill five. One, two, three, four, five. Milled off of Kelbeck. And of course, we grabbed uh, Tillman Scream off of uh, our Kikelos. So this is mill three more, and we can also trigger Perlerino again. And we will allow Kikelos to re retain two effects because this is still like. Well, I guess this technically also has yeah, two effects. Okay. So th this is an extra deck monster, so this is more like tolerable and makes more sense to have like multiple effects because it is a boss monster. So we'll keep both effects for the time being. And let's see, we have. Currently, we have Merle as well, and then we do s Scream mill 3, so that's mill 3, 5, and then, wait, we mill 3 more, because Sharon, right? So, 3, 5, and then 1, 2, 3 more. Hell Shadow Hollow, so, this is a Dark, this is a Dark as well, so here, we would only mill one because uh we only have one attribute right put the number of different original attributes among the monsters on the field mill one cool and that is heartbeat if we milled the trap we can add it to our hand so here in this case we have crime and we can add this to our hand but even if we didn't want to do like Hyrule mill like this we could have just added Solik, and we still have an easy time making um Rukalos so we could Rukalos to leak pretty easily but we keep going and wait a second oh Agito mill five again okay one two three four five and uh, there's a random killback there's rainbow bridge of salvation and we hit Merly perfect this is why we would say if this meant something so all of this is going to happened pretty fast but previous chain happiness got milled but we probably would have sent happiness to begin with so we can't use happiness effect and we can't use sharon effect so we have to use merley's effect to fusion summon or we have to use its effect to mill so we can't use its effect to mill in this case probably so this is probably the first point we could fusion summon again so yeah that, this does th this still makes winda and we we can still make Rukalos here, and we have Crime, and we still have technically the Merlian hand to send off of Crime to trigger the effect again later, which is a bit disgusting. And this Emerald Tortoise we can't put back, and we don't have like a field spell to search off of Salvation anyway, so not much to worry about here. And we still have a Keldo, so. To wrap up our turn, we probably just normal summon... Well, actually, we already normal summoned the Rhino, so we can't summon this, right? Yeah. So, if we could, though, we would probably want to normal summon maybe Keldo, make Abyss Dweller or something. But, I mean, end board overall now is going to be either Window Rukalos or, like, Window... Or, no, it's going to be either Window or Rukalos. And then we're going to sit on Prime, and we have Sharon just on our, like, endboard chilling. And we could per Lorino effect, but it doesn't actually do anything for us here. And we still have Scream effect to mill. So, we also, well, this is hard to kind of, like, do. But we'll end up shuffling back an earlier Havness. So, I guess our Graveyard can still technically have double Havness. And Rhino, one copy should be shuffled back. And the copy of Merly, and I believe that depending on what we chose, we have either Merly Kikelos shuffled back, or we have uh, Merly with uh, Hell Shuttle Hollow shuffled back. And next turn, our opponent can only special summon once. And we also have Crime Omni Negate, and also Scream Mills, and potentially Perlerino effect to pop. So we only have like. 
so many cards left in deck, but yeah. If we look at this, uh, let's real quick check how many cards we milled. So if we use Scream, that milled three. And then if we use Shirin, that mills another three. So that mills six. If we do uh, Kick Hellas Effect, this mills five. And that means we milled 11 times with just our Tailorman cards. And then with like Agito and Hellbeck, that milled an additional 10. So that made us mill like essentially 20 cards with both of these packages combined so if we remove Hellbeck and Agito though we would have 10 less mills straight up of course this mills 10 of our opponent's cards as well but I don't think that really matters here so yeah if we look at it this way this is technically like nerfed deer right and this is, uh, like, just the Change of Spirit stuff, right? So, first off, Mill 10 is a, a lot of cards, honestly. But th this is essentially still, like, a grass, uh, the grass that looks greener, or whatever. This is a full-on grass, despite, like, Tealman being fairly nerfed, and we haven't even thrown in, like, Tear Cash, which is essentially also a Mill 5. So, that, that's a bit wild, I guess. We have, in fact, milled quite a few cards here. And we still end up with this floodgate. So, our interactions are going to be Mill 3, Potential Pop, uh, Omni Negate, Shuffle Back, on a Counter Trap. And, yeah, that, that, that's about it, but... Uh, I guess things could always be worse, so you can take that, I guess, but our crime discard is going to allow us to technically make Rook Hellas, because Kick Hellas would still be in the graveyard if we did that, or we could make Winda, depending on order. We could even do Credit Plants, um, Grigo Stapelia, potentially Milmore, make, like, more of these guys. Hard to say if it would happen make Kaleido because I think we still end up with a decent amount of tier names in the graveyard. Essentially we're probably looking at at least like I don't know, it's probably just Mill 3. And then Midora, Salik, Salik can add Havness, Havness effect to Mill. And then if we mill like a Chirin, which can definitely happen. Or in this case we mill a Gito, so we mill like five more. And this doesn't really do anything for us because of the stipulations I put in here. Also, sh should all be straw one to draw Kelbeck. Kelbeck's actually a hand trap, so if you send anything from uh, specifically, what was this? It... Technically, if a card is sent from hand or deck to your opponent's graveyard, you can target one special summon monster your opponent controls. Special summon this card from hand, then return that monster to the hand. So. That can happen. Okay, now that's on the table. Just randomly, and also a school motto effect. Send a shuttle card from your deck. So in this case, we could send a shuttle hollow again. And in this case, we probably control a few more attributes. And we only special summon once so far, right? So we're fine under Windows still. So we have dark, and then presumably, uh, I'm guessing water. So probably mill at least two. Salik already activated, so doesn't do anything. Merly already activated, doesn't do anything. So yeah, th th this is essentially what we're still looking at, more or less. If we make the Tiddleman cards just have like a Thunder Dragon kind of restriction on them. Which is a, a bit nuts, but let let's use a worse hand, I guess. So we'll start with this one. Rhino Effect, send Havness, Havness is going to uh, use its one and only effect for this turn to make uh, Kick Hellas, Kick Hellas effect. We're going to probably add just Merly and see how that goes, but if we do that, of course, we have to mill a uh, two of Shirin to make Rook Hellas. So, by the way, let's do mill eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So we mill Scream. So we already have Salik, so here we can just add Crime, so if we see Crime, we'll just 
go one more later. And here we have Soul Leak. So we can trigger this effect now to add, I guess, technically Sharon. And this can target our own spell trap, so we can just put back Soul Leak and use Heartbeat to uh, trigger Sharon here to make Rukelis if we feel the need to do so. So, anyway, we, we did hit Squamata though, so we can do that effect, and we also hit Agito, so let's mill five. One, two, three, four, uh, five. Shadal Beast. And if we sent Shadal Beast, we, we would just go again, I, I suppose. So, I, I probably would have sent Shadal Beast. So, but on what order? Well, I would have probably done it as Chain Link. One, then two. Yeah, so th this would probably happen first, so go one more. Uh, another Rhino. Okay. So Rhino, one Rhino would have gone shuffled back anyways, but it it's hard to, like, account for that. Anyway. Scream effect, searched crime already, and then we milled now Kelbeck, so we're milling five more. Two, three, four, five, and then go one more because we would have uh, added Prime already. Kelbeck, again, hello Kelbeck. And then, Quillerino milled. Emerald Tortoise mill doesn't really do a whole lot. No, I didn't even mill Snow last time. If snow could be multiple points of interaction. Mm. But, uh, yeah, let's see what's next here. So that's like, no, one, two, three, four, five. Five, two, 20 cards? Wow. Well, not 20 cards exactly, because we duped two cards. So that's mill 18 right now. And we didn't hit Shirin, so here I guess we would have to heartbeat to make Rukelos, and we'll probably put back a copy of Salik, and then pass back on called by Salik. And we also have... Uh, still our Keldo to shuffle back any of our opponent's cards if that feels necessary we can shuffle back our own as well if we feel that is necessary 10 of our opponent's cards would happen to be milled as well and we can either make once again it's going to be either uh Rukilos or we can make uh well it's either we can make Rukelos or Winda once again. So it's pretty consistently able to go into Rukelos and Winda still. And this is of course with Exchange of Spirit stuff, so let's try removing that and the deck should just plummet really far. So we're only going to remove the Millers, everything else I'm not sure I care too much about. So here, we'll just start throwing in some Graveyard attack instead. So we have Destrudo, I guess we could maybe do Zephyros. But, uh, for the time being, let's do what makes sense to me. Foolish Burial Goods. This was at, uh, well, I guess Foolish Burial is not bad either. Foolish Burial Goods. And then Instant Fusion. Which was also around at the time. I guess I kind of forgot, but it's fine. So let's just throw those cards in. So here we open Perlerino. We have Shirin, we have Rhino. Okay, good. So here we'll do effect of Berlarino, and we'll probably do this to add either Havness or we'll do add uh, Merly. So I think Merly is the safer one to add. So we'll do add Merly here and then we'll do normal summon Rhino. And does this activate from hand? No, only from the graveyard. So we'll probably consider putting snow into the graveyard for this effect. Okay, that seems fine. So, we'll go normal summon rhino to send Havness. Havness effect, shuffle back. We'll shuffle back uh, rhino and Havness to make Hikelos. And we'll use this opportunity to add a uh, scream. And Sharon, if we activate Sharon effect here in hand, we won't be able to activate the effect to fuse, so whatever. 
But anyways, we'll probably want to special summon Rarely. So, we'll, we'll do that, right? And then we'll also probably have added Scream, I think. So, we'll mill 3, and then we'll mill 5. That hits Merly twice. Merly has no effect. And Soliac effect can add. So, we'll add, I guess, copies of something. So, what does this do? Banish to limit monsters. We don't have any. So... We're not even going to end on Salik here, we just have Scream, and then we tagged out specifically Kikelos here for Merly, so Merly already milled. So actually, Merly doesn't shuffle back, right? Wait, we have three Merlys, so... Okay, that, that's fine. That's fine, that technically makes sense. El Shadal Hollow mills one, so that's Rhino, that does nothing. And here we are, we're, we're completely bricked. Okay, fair enough. And yeah, that, that's about it. Not much we can do here. We can still share an effect to mill, but the share an effect to mill won't do anything. So I guess we could send at least snow to put that in the graveyard and then mill three more. So one, two, three. And then I guess for next turn, we can still make Sprite Elf if we use like Sheeran and uh, Merly. That is Sprite Elf and we can Sprite Elf for Merly next turn to uh, mill six more to see if we can mill a tier name then. If we mill a tier name at this point, we, we should be good. And this adds a tier limit trap. So we actually get Salik at least. So we're passing on Salik, Spray Elf, Pearl Arino, called by the grave. So one, two, three points of interaction, straight up. Three, so that's Monster Negate, called by, which is Called by. So like Monster Negate and then Pearl Arena Pop, which we, we can definitely do, I believe. And also Scream Mill 3 and then Merly Mills 3. So next turn we can do like Mill 6, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. We can add Havness off of this if we want. Merly effect to Fuse is not doable. Shuttle Beast effect to draw one. Now we have Foolish Burial in hand as well. And also we have Scream effect to add a card. So in this case we've milled Sleek, all of our copies of Sleek, but we still have Meta Noise as a target, so we can add uh, Meta Noise. And since Heavness is in hand, we could could we send Heavness? No, we we can't send Heavness. Okay, we would have to mill a Shirin at this point, which I don't think is like super possible. If we summoned. Uh, I was thinking, like, in, in in this case, though, milling with Merly was too risky, so I think what I would have done, no matter what, is I would have probably just special summoned Merly and just sat on it and did scream mills and just sit on that, right? That, that would probably be the best play. And then afterwards, we can use Soliac on the Merly, right? To, like, trigger the fusion effect, because we technically wouldn't be able to do the mill and fusion effect on the same turn, right? Because we're applying a uh, Thunder Dragon kind of restriction of one effect per turn. So, yeah. Still, like, semi decent. So, we actually take it this far. Tillament, I would say, is actually kind of fair. If you, like, were to drop a single hand trap on this, it would be pretty devastating unless you, like, seriously high rolled. So, Tillament, honestly. Wasn't even that fair by itself, if we're looking at it, all things considered, right? But then, we throw in the, like, exchange of spirit cards. Mill 5 on this, mill 5 on that, like, mill 10, might as well read it that way. So, essentially, very consistent mill, like, 20 or so. How is that a question of if that's fair or not? I guess that's not fair. Even if we apply the Thunder Dragon restriction to, like, two elements, it's just so strong, randomly, like, for what should be no reason at all. So, if we look at it this way, yeah, two elements were kind of made to be broken, but if, if uh, you want them to be balanced, literally just slap the Thunder Dragon restriction on it. Only one effect per turn, fellas, and then 
uh, remove all of the exchanges spirit cards like not not the shufflers I, I guess you can keep a few of the shufflers and it'll still be like kind of fair right but just in general we are going to remove all of the uh, exchange of spirit mill cards and tier limit now I can definitively say is somewhat fair it, it's still annoying that there's high rolling and RNG involved in here but there's a mathematical best play and that's almost somewhat respectable rather than like mill your your whole deck so like you're going to mill that effect you need and also like seven other effects along the way that that, that is not really fun at all but yeah Th this would still be an easy like way to make window with that last like hand so yeah that's super consistent to make like window and rucala still and it of course, that's like without getting hand traps. Once we throw hand traps into the equation, the, this becomes like kind of whatever, right? And that, that's kind of what I, I'd much rather see. Because two lens at, at its peak in Master Duel, a single mill card resolves and you're screwed. It's going to probably mill like Shirin and like a Keldo or something. Or not Keldo, a Gito. So it's going to mill like those two. Off of like a single Shirin, and, and then that's full combo. Your opponent's going to end on like Salik, Rukalos, and like Mudora and other cards, right? So that, that was not wholesome at all, I, I would say, arguably. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys today, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.